Hello, my name is Jason Rose, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can control smartphone use in the workplace. To allow or block smartphone connections inside your business is obviously a hot topic amongst the industry, but what you do depends on your own business requirements. DriveLock is here to provide a complete solution to help you achieve those business outcomes, allowing for blocking smartphones, allowing smartphones and tracking connections, and data being copied onto those devices. To establish an effective policy and control use of these devices, you might start by asking yourselves a few questions. First, do employees even need mobile phones for business purposes? If not, you might consider just blocking all of these devices outright to prevent data leaks and other files from getting into your network. Second, should you provide phones to your employees or offer a bring your own device or BYOD program? Third, do you want to allow connections of users' phones to company computers? And we can get a little bit more granular with this, as we'll see a little bit later on. Do you want to track the data transferred from computers to phones and vice versa? This can be accomplished with file shadowing, so that if there is a data breach, you can know exactly what files were leaked. And of course, you should be aware of any compliance requirements under which your business might be operating. For example, PCI DSS, HIPAA, or NIST. Once you've considered these questions and created a clear policy, you should, of course, communicate the policy to your users via email or SharePoint or some other means. So let's say we've created a policy, we've communicated it with our users, and are ready to implement that policy in the DriveLock Control Center. For example, let's say that we've decided to block all iPhone devices. We've also decided to block all Android devices. Devices that are outside the iPhone and Android class will be ignored altogether. And finally, we want to allow the connection of a single BYOD Android device, which will allow based on its serial number. Let's take a look at the actual creation and implementation of this policy in the DriveLock suite. In DriveLock Control Center, we'll want to take a look at the policy under which these changes will be deployed. We'll go ahead and edit our default company policy. We'll come into the Devices section under Device Class Locking, and we want to take a look at Smartphones. The first thing we'll want to do is open up the Apple Devices section, and we want to block these devices for all users. The next thing we'll want to do is come into the Android section. We want to enable controlling of these devices, and we want these devices to be blocked. Now, if we did want to set up shadowing or file filtering for these devices, that could be done using these sections here under both Android and Apple devices. But we'll go ahead and leave that disabled for now. The next thing that we want to do is add a whitelist rule for our single BYOD device. So we can come into the device whitelist rule section under smartphones. Since our device that we'll be whitelisting is an Android device, we'll come into the Android section and we're going to add a new device to our whitelist rule. We'll go ahead and put this in as exec BYOD. And we want to allow it based on its serial number. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new serial number. Now, if you know the serial number, you can simply type it in, but sometimes it's easier to have it connected to a machine, either locally or on a machine with an agent already installed. I have it connected to this local machine, so I'm going to go ahead and select OK. OK. From here, we can go into the other tabs to make sure that our permissions are set correctly. In this case, we want to allow this device. If we want to enable file shadowing or filtering, we can do so under this tab. In this case, I'm going to disable all file filtering and shadowing. We can apply additional restrictions to this device under the other tabs in this section. For example, if we want to limit the use of this device to specific groups or Active Directory users, we can do so here. We can say that it's only allowed to be used on certain networks, on certain computers, or within certain time limits. But we'll leave all of these defaulted for now. We'll go ahead and hit OK. 
we can see that this device is now unlocked based on its serial number. When we're ready, we can go ahead and save and publish this policy. I'll go ahead and enter in some notes. And then hit OK to apply it out to our users. The next time our agents check in with the central server, that updated policy will be downloaded. And then from there, smartphone control will be deployed to all of those clients. As we can see, controlling devices like smartphones is extremely straightforward under the DriveLock platform. Thanks for watching.